video, we'll be looking at key engineering differences between smaller swimming pool type versus commercial size copper silver ionization water treatment technologies. Not all of these CSI units are created equal. In fact, most CSI units are engineered for swimming pool or static bodies of water, such as fountains, with the intent of algae or in some bacterial control. On the other hand, commercial and medical CSI units include special engineering features specific to the intent of Legionella growth control or prevention in a larger facility potable water distribution networks. Let's start with the basics. Why is amperage output so important? The more water you want to treat, the more alloy and amperage you'll need in order to achieve the required minimum ionic values. Commercial and medical CSI units have a minimum output capacity of no less than 10 amps or higher. To properly identify these units, focus on the capacity. It doesn't mean that you'll require all 10 amps, yet it will eliminate the smaller residential type units. Also, keep in mind that there are some larger controllers out there that could lower your startup cost. CSI Defender, for example, in addition to 10 amp controllers, also manufacture models that can deliver even higher amperage capabilities, ranging from 20 to 160 amps. These larger commercial CSI units should be considered in facilities having more than 100 cubic meters or 22,000 gallons of water usage per day. Another key engineering feature you can look for is an automatic constant current able to deliver up to 100 volts DC capacity or higher. Swimming pool units or residential units normally have manual adjustments for the voltage to maintain the constant current or try to maintain constant current. With these units, when the electrodes wear out or amperage drops, the user needs to manually adjust the controller's voltage in order to keep the amperage stable and the unit functional. The manual settings for these smaller units range from 6, 12, 24, and sometimes 48 volts. On the other hand, commercial type copper silver ionization units always include fully automated voltage controls that can vary from 5 all the way up to 100 volts and sometimes even 180. The controller automatically decides the voltage that's required in order to maintain the constant current, regardless of water condition or electrode erosion. Both the automation and higher voltage is unique to commercial or medical CSI units. Third, let's talk about the ionization electrodes. For swimming pool units, they normally include two small electrodes installed inside a plastic chamber cell like these two small guys right here. As you can see, they've got two of these small dainty electrodes here and uh, they're really not made for potable water. On the other hand, you've got the larger commercial type units here that normally have no less than four electrodes inside. The CSI Defender series here has eight electrodes inside. It's made to treat up to 100 cubic meters of water per day or 22,000 gallons of water per day. It's housed inside a Schedule 40 stainless steel chamber cell, which meets fire building codes when required. It also has no limitation as far as liquid water uh, temperatures or uh, also uh, water pressures. So these are really made for potable water versus these guys here are made for swimming pools and they're just not comparable one to the other as far as performance goes. We hope this video was helpful and we look forward to your questions on this or any other Legionella related topics. Thanks for watching.